Welcome back to Timber Bonners, the only YouTube soap where beavers are, are the best. But let me tell you about my dog. His name's Paddy. There's only two days left to order the Santa Paddy before Christmas. Don't miss out. Seriously, these will never be made again. And last time with the original one, the hard hat, loads of people missed out thinking I'd bring it back, but I didn't because it's limited edition. Limited edition means limited edition as I'm not a money grabbing architect. <gasps> yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to the Timber Bonners. This is season six, episode. Let me check my notes. Episode seven. I've lasted seven episodes. So yeah, we are playing on the smallest map, on the hardest difficulty to see whether engineering and beaverhood is a thing. Now, speaking of hairy beavers, this video is sponsored by Manscaped. And today I've got a brand new product, the Handyman Compact Face Shaver. It delivers a quick, close shave with its unique dual blade system, featuring a standard foil shaver, as well as a long hair level blade to knock down up to three days worth of growth. It fits perfectly in the palm of your hand, can be used in the shower, has a cover, and is airplane friendly, making it perfect for traveling with. And the included USB-C cable provides up to 60 minutes of runtime. So to get 20% off plus free shipping, use code Real Civil Engineer at checkout at manscaped.com. Thanks for sponsoring, but we need to get back to our beavers. Anyway, we're currently at, ooh, we're at the start of a 19 day drought. Uh, not ideal, but what is ideal? Remember last time we built this, <gasps> the large water tank, and it's got over a thousand water in it, which I think means we should be fine. I can see like behind it, these little water storages, they're all pretty much empty. So I don't know, perhaps I can convert those to like a different liquid later on because we've got ooh, coffee. Should we get some coffee on the go? We've also got our medicine we can store in there as well as canola oil and well, and just water. Uh, but yeah, I'm hoping with our skyscraper currently shut down. This is what nearly ruined us last time, or the time before last anyway. This will be our future food source. We're just going to build into the sky. But for now, we're focusing on the farms because we do have water down here, which keeps everything green. And look, behind the mega dam, loads of water that we can let out. Now, since last episode, I've had a bit of change of heart. If I just click there, you'll see this is how I was going to build my mega dam. Oh, sorry, not the mega dam. This is technically the giga dam because basically Basically, if I, if I want to keep pumping water for extended periods, yeah, we're going to have to add more height. Basically, what I planned is to build like a secondary dam behind this original first one. Keep these log pumpers here. Now, the trouble is I didn't want to remove them because that would be like all my log pumping capacity gone. But since I'm building those up there, what I'm thinking is maybe I just I demolish like these four and then this wall, I build it at the front because that will give me a much larger volume than like having in this tiered thing because these guys pumping as well with just like a small slither of water and that slither behind that's going to get pumped out pretty quick so i don't really think there's any point in keeping those as long as i build these first to keep the logs pumping essentially so what i'm going to do as it's night time we're going to fast forward because i hate night times in video games i can't see anything we'll leave it running normally but let's have a revamp so what i'm thinking since these guys oh look at that look at that john holder building the dam that is going to save us all i'm going to continue adding log pumpers along here. I think it's worth rejigging this path because you'll see if I try and add like a, a log pumper here. Hang on, I only got to do platforms first. So platforms like that for the log pumpers to sit on. But you'll see if I try and build these, it won't let me because have a look at the straw. It's on a path. So what I need to do is destroy all those stairs, destroy this path. And then we just got to go a slightly different route. So that will allow us to get down to this side to build all of this. But I do actually, I want to delete all of this. And then instead, I think I actually, I'm going to move all of those back as well. Yeah, we'll do this properly because we are engineers. Uh, so what I'm thinking, if I just do like a little detour with the stairs, because I don't really want to use mods, I can just go about doing this and pretty much get the same volume. So path like that instead. And oh, I can't, it's another night cycle already. Oh, hang on, let's turn the working hours down as well. We don't need beavers working for more than 16 hours a day. You guys need to get some rest. You've got a drought to try and cope. Oh no, oh no, hang on. We've run out of water down here. Is that bad? That means we're not gaining any water. That's probably fine actually, but we've got to make sure this middle bit stays wet because that's keeping all the farms green. Anyway, buy up the priority of these stairs, then I can basically delete that bit of path and then put my dam in. We will get to those steps a bit later, but for now, we just need to work out what we're 
doing. Right, okay. For this new Giga Dam, what are we going to do? We're going to need levees. So basically, everything this side of that will be filled with water. So it'll be something like that. Remember, just got to leave that gap until these stairs are done, just so beavers can get up here and build. But then over here is where it gets a little bit tricky, because we got the floodgates. You can see they're only three high. Now, there are mods where I can use these. These are metal floodgates. They can go as high as 10 high. But I'm going to try and not use mods in this because I feel like that will be helping me defeat the hard mode when I don't I don't need it. I can engineer my way around. I've had time to think about it. It's been a couple of days and honestly, I think we're going to store the water up to that level, aren't we? That's fine because that's like, like we're still going to be able to let out the same amount. I mean, or technically we're going to be able to let out more water because we got like a larger area we're storing. See, I think, I think this is an improvement. It should allow me to keep this area green for longer. I mean, if not, worst comes to worst, I just demolish my floodgates. Those at the bottom let some more water out. But I don't think it will come to that. Anyway, let's carry on building. Oh no, the puppy engineer died of old age. That's quite sad. But yeah, anyway, I... <laughs> Anyway, moving on, moving on. We got we got stuff to build. Good news is these at the back are now are now getting built. Do I have enough builders? Who's building over here? Yeah, we got four builders. We got loads of haulers as well. Okay, we'll leave them. We'll leave them doing that. It is now nighttime. They're chilling in the pub. They've had a hard day building dams. They're allowed. Oh, there's just one beaver up here on his own. Who actually is it? RCE69. I mean, to be fair, I I thought that was a very cool name, but I can see why you're sat on your own. If I'm honest. Now the bad thing about these, as we move to the left, can you see the straws? They get shorter. Now I do need a long straw for reasons. As long as I got four other ones, that should be enough pumpage that I can remove these. We had fun with them, but they're all they're all going. But yeah, if we just carry on levying, we've got to build to that height, then that will be the Giga Dam. And yeah, we can let water down to there. We can let water down to here. And then I'm thinking we're going to have like a bit of momentum with water. Actually, I could replace that with floodgates because that's as wide as the river. And then I'm just thinking maybe we could finally add some water water wheels, perhaps. Get some power going down here. It would mean losing our showers, I think. Do we need the showers anyway? I mean, look at this guy, Marco Lechner, absolutely sweaty as anything. And as you just saw, he just walked out the water. That is how they get in the wet fur now, because I've got this path in. Rather than going over the dam, all of our beavers, they have to swim. Even the babies. Who's this sat on their butt? James Derrick. What are you like? There you go. Back to work. Now I'm watching, eh? Just like my editors. Just like my editors. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I could remove these and then put power down here. The trouble with putting power down is I'll have to lose like a strip of all my farming just to get power shafts all lined up. And really, I'm happy with my beavers just using the Wheel of Honor. Yeah, I think we'll keep that as like a maybe option. I'm not going to focus on that for now. I think as well, once this dam behind is built, it will be easier to remove that piece. Because at the moment, if I remove that, like all that water is flooding. Because that's that's quite a lot of water up here. And uh, speaking of water, how are we actually getting on? We got... Oh, we still got 600 remaining. So we've used less than half, but we are nowhere near halfway through the drought. We're like we're a third of the way through. So we may need to get these log pumpers pumping. Um, I do have another another water tank up there as well. I'm hoping we'll just store water here from these and then people can come over to this to get a drink. I think that'll be the most efficient way to pump rather than taking all the pumped water over to this storage. I mean, I think I originally built this because it was like it was on like the non grassy land, but hindsight, maybe not the best location. All right, I think as well, it's time for more beavers. Let's get this built as well. I need more baby beavers. Like, yes, the Bandit 21 has grown up and Matsu has grown up, but I need more. I need I need this number to increase. We've only got 32 beavers. I got way more jobs. I want more builders. We can build this. Like, we've halted smelting completely. I mean, to be fair, we could probably pause all of this because we, we got a lot of blanks. You've worked hard, but I think we have enough planks for now. Oh no, look, some beavers are homeless. Still pickle. We got six homeless beavers. I'm gonna have to build another shelter. I can't be having that. We are thriving this episode. We're not just surviving. Now we need to build this in a way that we can easily build on top. That seems like a plan to me. Look at all this space up here. Maybe we could add like another, another smelting thing on top of this. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Anyway, to be fair, considering this is the smallest map, I feel like I 
I've got quite a lot of space. Like I'm not really struggling. I don't have to build vertically at all. Though maybe that's because I've only got 30 beavers. Maybe I should be trying to increase this. Or maybe the challenge is just like storage of water. But I feel like I'm on top of that as well. Check this out, by the way. Four log pumpers ready to go. But yeah, I do want more builders. So let's head yeah, down into district management. If I get a builder's hut, I can just add extra builders. Maybe shove it there. Let's high prioritize that as well. Me and high prioritizing. But yeah, I think I think I want more builders now. I'm impatient. I'm like Paddy waiting for his dinner. Oops, I just said that word. Now he's looking at me. <laughs> Sorry, boy. All right, something worth mentioning. We're about to run out of water down here. This is a very accurate way of measuring. If I just see how wet the beaver's feet get, not very. So I'm going to let some water out. That just fills up this area. We'll raise that again. That will keep all of this green. Nice. Oh, I let too much water out. So I'm just escaped down here. May as well turn these log pumpers on. Adding to that water level, which has dropped to 200 now. Only six days remaining of the drought, though. Then the water will return. And look, all of this is done. That means I can demolish that path, add the dam pieces on top, and then they can build, like, the dam while walking across it, hopefully. All right, this is good. Oh, look at this. That's why it's gone so quick. The builder's hut is done. Super high priority. Four new builders. Oh, the trouble now, though. The logs. The logs. <laughs> right, I need a forester back in here. A Amatsu, get in there. You need to plant more trees. Oh, no. They're like, oh, last remaining tree. What is, what's happened? <laughs> All right, I've just opened up this forester. I'm hoping they'll plant, like, up here where we can actually plant stuff. Yes, he is planting in the wet ground. That's good. I was worried he'd plant in the dry ground and it'd be a massive waste. But, yeah, we are now, <laughs> we're now completely out of logs. That's slightly annoying. Uh, how can I get more logs? I mean, you're just sat on your butt. There's nothing to cut. Don't think you're really needed. Not until some trees grow. These are our last remaining trees as well. We've got one person cutting those down. That should be fine though. But yeah, maybe I need to reduce the number of builders. We don't have enough wood input for this. So we'll lower that by two, I reckon. And I mean, to be fair, there's all of these down here. They're all logs and planks. Do we actually have to... I think we have to collect them first. Can I high prioritize collecting? Oh, I can. Decent. Okay, we'll collect those. There are some down the back here. So, yes, we can't use these stairs anymore. If I just wang some stairs there and there, then we can get down. Let's up the priority on those two. Yes, I'm upping the priority again. Ah, ah, pause, 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 pause. Oh, no, everyone, we're out of water. We're out of water. Oh, no, and down here. Oh, no. How long's left? Just 1.8 days. Uh, What do we want to do? I think we want to... Let's get the first log pumpers up. Oh, someone's already gone in. And it's Danny... I mean, I could say this, like, really French, like, lap. But I mean, in British, it's probably like Danny Lapointe. But fair play, he saw he saw the colony was in danger and he decided, you know what? I'm going to work my wood in this situation. That is a good natural instinct to have. So that is log. I don't know why I did that one, actually. There's obviously not enough water. Pause you. Sorry, bud. Shoot. You're fired. Um, yeah, and then I need to quickly let out some water. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That should be enough just to sort of get this green because look all these plants are coming back to life hopefully before they die was that enough water oh it wasn't enough is it no it might be come on water blow blow okay that's good that's good as long as as long as we got like water up to there i mean should probably let a little bit more out right, okay that's good that's good that's actually good that's where we wanted it and um, oh pause these three as well that's completely dry i feel like we definitely needed this new structure oh no look your straws are too short danny you're fired railway also fired there's only three log pumpers. We are increasing in water, I think. Okay, nice. Yeah, water's going up and logs are going up as well. Phew! That was scary. You know what? Let's get a gatherer flag on just to keep that berry intake high. Now, we haven't really increased in beavers yet. We're still just on 33. I guess there's four kids, though. But yeah, I think I'm going to pause all of this. We don't need we don't need gears anymore. We got 70 gears. That is plenty. So, industrial area shut down for now. Uh, we've actually got to the point where there's one unemployed beaver, finally. So, just tweak the jobs and then we're good to go again. Let's get through this last day of the drought. I mean at night we're not pumping our wood so the water is gonna drop to zero. There we go. The dreaded naught. But come morning these guys are back to it. Working away. I think we've just about survived this because yeah 0.8 days. Oh that was actually close. We do have thirsty beavers. You can see the yellow symbols about but I think as long as we're pumping we're pretty good. Cool that was a little bit sketchy at the end there. I'm hoping though 
Hopefully, if we can get this Giga Dam built, we're actually going to be fine next dry season. Um, oh, speaking of which, I need to actually work out how the hell we do actually build this. Because at the moment, can't actually reach this side. My stairs go to there. Oh, the drought's ended. Yes! Oh, the water is flowing. That is what we like to see. Water levels rising. We'll just lower this completely. Just get water flowing down the entire system. Turn these log pumpers back on. So we're going to want as much water as possible. Possible. So water has made it to the bottom. Those guys are pumping, which means I can now slowly start raising the floodgates. Because look, you can see that's backing up everything behind it. We can then unpause these guys and raise the floodgates further. Oh, and within like seconds, we're back to like max capacity. But we're now pumping with six log pumpers plus the three down here. So that is nine. So we have got a lot of water income. We are also flooding. Oops. <laughs> But yeah, the downside now is we're not chopping many trees down. I mean, there's, well, there's no trees growing. We sort of let our wood income disappear. Not ideal. Oh, no, no, no. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Pause, pause, pause. There's no food. There's no... Where's the food? There's like a tiny amount of berries there. Unpause those. Do we not have farmers? No, we got farmers. We got loads of farmers. They're all prioritized harvest. We don't have enough food. I mean, to be fair, we do have soybeans. We do have canola oil. So let's get the fermenter back online. Kayla Barber, you need to feed everyone. Fermented soy soybeans is selected. You do need power. So let's turn on one of the wheels. Marco Lechner, you know what to do. Get in the wheel of honor, please. I mean, I know I know you're out sleeping on the street, but when you wake up, when you wake up, get in there. You got a colony to save. Okay, sun is rising. Beavers are hungry. Oh, man. I've gone from like thinking I've survived everything to now we're in a famine. If it's not a drought, it's a famine. This place, man. All right, anyway, there he is. He's in He's in the shaming wheel. Uh, sorry, wheel of fame or whatever I call it. The bulls on this are pumping, which means Kayla is making fermented soybeans. Oh, I need to prioritize this with haulers. I don't want you running off. He has just run off. Yeah, she's all the way over here. I don't know. What is she actually doing? Is she grabbing... What are you doing? We're just going to follow you. You're going for a swim. Then... Oh, she's gone to grab some food. She's hungry herself. But fair play. I mean, you need energy in order to make energy. I mean, unfortunately, that wasn't enough food. She's still very hungry. Now working at... 50%. So we're going to be making those soybeans even slower. But yeah, look, there's the oil going into there. Someone's just bought over soybeans for it. Wait, where's she going now? Oh no, she's starving and dehydrated. <laughs> okay, she just got a drink. She just got more food. Back up to decent work speed. So now, pump those balls. Make us some food. Oh, and it's actually working. Look, we got nine food. We're in net positive food. All right, I think, honestly, I just need to prioritize these guys to harvesting. Is that where it all went wrong? Phew. Okay, well, I think that is is, that is panic over. I, I can start back on the Giga Dam again. So I've just got to find a way to get beavers to like build up at that level. Like this side, they're fine. They're building across, but they're going to get to, well, they're going to get to there and then they can't build around that. So maybe I want to put some temporary scaffolding in. I'm also going to need access from this side, which to be honest, I can probably just do staircase there and then just do a path. Can I fit a path through? Yes, I can. Nice. Okay, decent, decent. I think we're back. I think we're good again. I may want to get this other water storage up and running as well. It's at the moment on super low priority. Very unlike me, but I may wang up the priority to get it done. What do we need? 80 gears, 60 planks, 30 metal blocks. I've got enough. I can just do it. Oh no. All right, do it, do it, do it. We got three days till the next drought. This game's brutal. Yeah, I'm really gonna have to prioritize getting these in. I, I don't have time. I don't think I have time. I'm gonna have to prioritize trying to get the floodgates done. So to get the floodgates done, we need we need the scaffolding. So do the scaffolding, then prioritize those bits. And then oh, I was gonna say, can I just prioritize like that level? Oh yes, I can. Yes, I can. Okay, that's good. That's good. Get that level in. And then we've got like one sort of level done. And then I can like raise the floodgates and then that is more water for next time. Okay. I think we're good. How's this coming along? Oh, it's getting there. We just need, we just need the metal blocks. We do have 45 metal blocks, so we should be able to build the large tank soon. Oh, by the time it's finished, the drought will have started. Okay. Yeah. I completely mismanaged my time there. Yeah, I'm going to prioritize all these log pumpers with the haulers as well. I didn't realize I didn't actually do that to all of them. That should mean more time pumping, less time carrying water. Right. Okay. Okay. The drought has started. It's only 12 days, so I 
think we're potentially fine. Like, my sort of thoughts are I pause you three. They're the really deep ones. Maybe leave those three going. Down here, we'll just let them let them pump that water out. Okay, we're good. Yeah, I may even pause another one. Just leave two up here for now. I think we're going to be fine for water. 820 water. My main aim is to keep this green, though. Keep the food going. I may need to add another farm building as well. In fact, let's do that now. So demolish those, those three kohlrabis. Come on, they're on very high priority. This should be top of your to-do list, builders. It's not like everything else is on the same priority. I'll tell you what the game needs to do. It needs to add like a extremely high priority. One that I'm not tempted to use all the time because it's very high. It's not high enough, in my opinion. Yeah, annoyingly, all of this stuff is very high. Oh, they might not move that in ages. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. Let's just move all of this from very high, just down to high. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, now, yes. Yes, who's that? Hope Peace doing the Lord's work there. And uh, that means we can get another farmhouse in. High prioritize that one. Very high. I've learned my lesson. And then now that is built, we've got Brandon Ray and Danny Honeys. They are going to be in there, but they're going to be prioritized on planting. Everyone else is on harvesting. But look, oh, look at everything being planted. Okay, that is good. But my, my ultimate aim is once this water situation is sorted, we can then get the, the multi-story, the mushrooms and the algaes, get all that on the go. And that should be food sorted. We'll never have to worry again. Uh, that is that is just a theory, though. Oh, look up here. Our water tank's done as well. Decent. And there's some water in it. All right, anyway, I'm going to grab these invent huts. I'm going to lower the priority because I don't think we actually need science for anything right now. We've got nearly 3,000. Honestly, I'd rather get more builders on the go. Try and get this stuff made. Although we're, we're out of logs. We're always out of logs. How long do these trees have to go? Oh, they got so long to go. They're on like 50% max. All right, I've got Adrian Azor down here. Also, Ivan Notton. We got him cutting down trees because there are quite a few trees down here. Like if you get the if you get the oaks on the goat, we will be laughing. All right, 6.9 days left of the drought. Nice. Um, up here, you can see you can see the water levels are dropping. Hivers, the 17-year-old log bumper. I'm sorry, but you are going to be sacked from your job because your straw has run dry. Yeah, you can see water level is still pretty good. We've got like probably a block and three quarters to go until we're completely out. It's only a few days left. I think, I think we're all right for this one. If it was a long dry season, we could have been in danger, but we're all right. Water's okay. Food finally increasing as well. And I will have the option to increase my water intake like along this edge. And if I do that, maybe we can get the food skyscraper going next time. I mean, I'm also thinking about as well, like expanding my dam. Like, should I be damming like across like there? Make all this back stuff wet? I just don't know. But anyway, I think we'll leave it there for today. I'm quite happy with what we've achieved. I think the Giga Dam is going to save us. So for now, I'll say peace, love. And don't forget to get a limited edition Santa Paddy plushie. It will be delivered before Christmas. There's only two days left to get one. Then they'll never be available again. So don't miss out. Get it for someone you love this bridge miss. Bye, guys.